I think they say we're in Wilmington, uh, North Carolina. Oh, Somebody yeah. pulling up with Bojangles. I need it. <laughs> I'm hungry. The sun is out. It's blue sky. It ain't no snow. We, we, it's going to be a good day. That's a, any day that the sun wasn't out, though, I'm shining. Where we at? Big ride home with your man, Big B. Of course, I'm always all out and about. While I was in Houston, I had a chance to meet this young brother, man, doing his thing. He's in the building, like, for real. What's up, man? What's up, Big B? How you, man? I'm good, bro. Like, I gotta say this, and I said it off air, that you did a phenomenal job at the Core DJs. Yeah. Uh, the listening suite, man. We had a chance to see you perform live. We always hear the records, but you don't get a chance to see the artists. Like, yeah. okay, this dude really sing. <laughs> I mean, he was good with his guys and yeah. auto tune. And you really put on a great show. So I want to say that first to you. No, thank you, man, so much. Thank you. And so tell us about Lonnie. Who is Lonnie? Because I know I want you to tell him because you told us at the court. I'm like, yo, I know this guy. <laughs> Let us know. Where you from, man? Well, I'm from Los Angeles, California. Um, okay. I was raised in Carson to be exact. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I started out singing background and writing for a lot of artists, singing background first, and I was a drummer in my young years. And, okay. And, uh, you know, as a teenager, I started writing songs, and I started writing with Tank. Okay. And, you know, I had a lot of, a lot of success. Um, my first placements on the Dave Hollister Real Talk album, and then my first number one and first award uh, winning song was Please Don't Go with Tank. Man! And, um, you know, that solidified me, and I went on to do, you know, with Tank, the Unpredictable album for Jamie Foxx, and, uh, okay. and then jumped on Chris Brown's exclusive album, and then a okay. part of so many of his albums, you know, all of his albums except for the first one and the last one. All right. Uh, but, you know, we went on to do Strip, and came to do, and Wet the Bed, and... You know, so it's Lonnie's time now. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, we got a little, yeah, I've been grinding, you know, giving all, give, giving all my brothers and, my, and, and you know, my family in this industry a lot of these hits, you know what I mean? A vocal producer for a lot of people for a long time. Cool. And had the Ariana Grande success and, you know, some pop yeah. success and things like that. And, and now it's Lonnie Burrell time, you know. But we actually had, I had a single out with Kelly Rowland called Favor. Okay. And charted on Billboard. So a lot, of, a lot of radio stations played it and, you know, and I'm making a return. This is the new sound, you know what I mean? And, and, and I want you to say all that yeah. because you're not new to this. So when you hear Lonnie Burrell, you're going to be like, oh, this is a new artist. Well, really not a new artist, yeah. but it might be new to you. Right. Yeah. But you've been in the industry for some time now. Absolutely. And that's super huge, man. What If, if I can ask you anything from stepping, because you, you've been playing behind the scenes a little bit. Yeah. Absolutely. Stepping out in front of the scenes, how has that, has that differed any? Are you just comfortable there? Well, to be honest with you, I'm very comfortable. Um, I look around me every day, and, I, and I'm grateful for the team around me. The team right. of people is unbelievable to have. The team of people around you that are actually dedicating their time and their lives to, to the movement and, okay. and to actually be the front guy this time. It's a little different. But um, at the same time, I, you know, as I ran the streets with Chris Brown and Tank and Trey Songz and Kelly Rowland and all the artists that I've been on tour with, I was never the, the background singer that just that just was on stage with a sound check on stage. I would get up. I would get up and go to the radio stations with the artists. I would go to the photo shoots. Right. To, you know, whatever they had to do. So I wasn't right. really familiar with what I have to do on this level. You know what I mean? Oh, that's what's up. Lonnie <laughs> Burrell holding it down. Like yeah. I said, oh, amazing artist. We got to get you back here so we can just put you in front of everybody yes, in the Fort City. I want you know to come I mean? back and perform for this city and I want to make sure they know the record. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> Speaking of that, before we even jump into that, man, uh, what are you? What's in your iPod right now? Man. Or what you got on your phone? What you listening to right now? Bruno. Really? Yeah. You know, I, I'm. It's New Music Friday. I was on my way here, and and I said, uh, what's new out? You know, I saw Seven Street has got a new project. Right. Out. 
and, and I haven't got a chance to check that out yet, but I've been on that Bruno, man. I, I like to see what the new the new sound is, where we need to go, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because what I listened to in the club last night is old. So, yeah. You know, I want to see, you know, I got to stay ahead of the game, and I'm never going to stop writing and producing it. Just right now, this is my time, my time, you know what I mean? It is, yeah. yeah, my brother, and let me tell you, hats up, Port City. I mean, we're going to drop a record, but if you have not heard this guy, Ladies, if you have not heard this guy, you need to jump on this guy. Well, don't jump on him. Don't do that. You let him jump on him. Okay, look, we got to get him. <laughs> Lottie Burrell is in the building. And without further ado, man, introduce the record. I'm going I'm to stop talking. Yo, my name is Lonnie Burrell. This is my first single from the Project Alonzo. It's titled IDGAF No Mo. You can figure it out. Feature and say no. Let's get it, Big B. You know what it is. It's right here. World Premier. On my name, you throw dirt when you call it, ain't the same. Call yeah, it's so deaf, I go to Maine. On my line, you stay up in your lane. I'm like, I'm here with all this pain. Cause I don't give a no more, no more. I don't give a no more, no more. It's curtains coming down. Coach 97.3 is my man Lonnie Burrell on that joint, man. Brand new world premiere. He's yeah. in the building, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm in here. I ain't trying to go nowhere. <laughs> So it goes down, man. What what can we see with this single, man? I know we. How can we see more of you on your socials, all that good stuff, videos? What's up? Well, we get ready to shoot the video soon, and you can check me on on the Instagram. It's at Alonzo Burrell. You know that's okay. A L O N Z O B E R E A L, and that's Instagram and Twitter, and, and also on Facebook, Alonzo Burrell. So you know I'm all over the place. Snapchat, holla at me, L Burrell, the letter L. And uh, you know, I'm I'm here. I'm going I'm going to deliver everything that the world wants. You know, the visuals are coming. The, the concert tour cool. is coming. Yes. And I'm coming back here with you, man. We gonna rock. We gonna rock. All right. I gotta shout out my core DJ sister and the team, man. The whole team here. Uh, Shave money, man. Doing gotta things. Do it. Gotta do it. She exactly. broke the record like at at the uh, core. Yeah. Broke the record and then broke it live. Yeah. Like, and that's my playing. tour DJ too. So okay. Cool. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. So. Uh, if I may, what would you say to someone that's another El Burrell out there and they listening and they want to do what you're doing? I would say that the process of learning, don't take it for granted. You don't try to skip it, put the work in, get that pain, take that pain and embrace it because you got to go through it. It's a wilderness you got to go through. It's, 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 it's boot camp, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just like, you know, people don't want to go to college, but then they come and do music. Well, it's school to that, too, you know what I mean? Yeah. And while you sleep, somebody else is awake mm. doing the same thing that you doing. And so, you know, it's work ethic it's on top of the time. Thank you. Know you. Know I, mean? <laughs> I need you to say that. I just want to say that. So many people try to, get, try to be carried by their talent, man, and don't want to put the work in. Mm. You heard it here first, my man, I'm going to go well, doing this thing, man. Once again, hats off to you. You got anybody you want to shout out with? Man, shout out, Hit Club, Stampede, Management, Canandez, Everson in the building, Slap House, Brian Simpson, Toon, you know. I got Mr. Hey now, K Dot with me, you know Okay. What I mean? And, you know, I'm just happy, man. Shout out to the family, the Burrell family. And, and, you know, I'm just here, man. I think, I'm thankful for my fans, my support system. And I'm looking forward to, to getting getting back here and showing them what I can do on that stage. You heard it here first, man. Uncle uh -huh. Bro. We're gonna run it back. It's close to 97.3. Run it back, baby. <laughs> Boom. We got you, my brother. You know you feel it in your stomach when they playing my shit. When you see me keep it moving, I don't want to reminisce. I think I live by my word. Say I'm this, that's the third. But you really gonna get it when karma come back to you. Know that bad is the worst. On my name, you throw dirt when you call it, ain't the same. You had to be so deaf, I go to Maine. On my line, you stay up in your lane. I'm like, I'm here with all this pain. Cause I don't give a Next time you see me won't be the